Another rainy day in Georgia. Yes. I was on a bus a while ago. Coming up past Leon. And when I, we were passing Dugan, there's one of those zigzag crosswalks. Somebody ran over the crosswalk light. It's laying in the crosswalk. One of those aluminum poles. Put the light on it. Well, that's why we don't want to be caught out in the middle of the street in one of those crosswalks. I can't believe somebody went into my medical records and changed the address. They had an address that I haven't lived at since 9-11. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. <laughs> Even though they never had that address when I go to the doctor. I never gave them that address. I ain't had an ID with that address on it in almost 20 years. They done took both of them out. Ain't no way do I want to sit out there in that and wait for somebody to run me over. They bring a truck down here with a lot of SDA system in front of a building that houses senior citizens that don't want to hear all this fucking noise. Speaking of the universe, make it great again, you know? Space is like that gap between the counter and the stove. No matter how much comet you use, you never fully clean it. That's a, that's a space joke. <laughs> that joke was out of this world. And you know, there are roughly 100 plus missions to space every year by different countries, rich people. You know, every time they come up here, they manage to leave a bit of garbage lying about pieces of rocket, glass, you name it. Of course. Can you tell us some of the stranger things you've picked up out there? Oh, you bet, you bet. Well, let's see here. Last Tuesday, I found this here Verizon wireless satellite. Now that's some top tier space training. Anything else? Oh yeah, at first I thought it was a collapsing star, but it turned out to be Shia LaBeouf's career. Oh, and then there's this Major Tom signed album from Bowie. Oh, and that love letter from Elon Musk to Mars. That's incredible. Bird scooter blocking up the sidewalk. Hey, Lion, you got another one of these scooters here that's been uh, messed with, or it's the same one, I don't know. But it's at the Publix on Ponce. Two bird scooters. And a lime e-bike. Been sitting here forever. Let me get this junk. In front of the entrance. Investigators do not believe Harris was the shooter's intended target. Anyone who was at that party or who has video of the incident is urged to talk with police. It's been more than a year on Charles. They're calling for state and local leaders to help put an end to the gun violence plaguing our city. The clergy plans to meet with APD's chief of police on Thursday. Atlanta police have worked tirelessly to get gun arms. It's got to be sobering, especially when you consider that we've got 14, 15, and 16-year-olds that are trying to handle firepower. Yeah, with the recent events, uh, this is on my mind, thinking about young people that could have access to these guns. Police plan to host a gun buyback event later this year. The department says its first effort was a major success with hundreds of weapons. Bought back from residents, no questions asked. You know, one of my neighbors uh, told me this joke. Uh, what's the difference between a liberal and a conservative? A uh, conservative is a liberal who's been mugged. Yeah, you got it. So there you go. So maybe Karen Bass is now a conservative. Who knows? <laughs> I'm Larry Elder. This has been the Larry Elder Show for Epic Times, and we've got a country to save. See you next time.